I thought I'd show you how I wash a little dog. I see a lot of videos on YouTube of people washing their dogs, and they're plunging them into a bath full of water, which the poor little fellow must be thinking, why did you buy the puppy if you're just going to drown him? This way works very well for me. It rinses the dog better. I think if you're shampooing a dog in a bath full of water, then you're rinsing him with soapy water. I have a, a bin that I fill with water. This way that I can control how control the temperature of the water. And I, I always put down a little bath mat so that my dog has a nice stable place in which to stand. He doesn't feel like he's going to slip. I have my shampoo, my towel, and I have a little beaker here that I pour the water over with. Okay. As you can see, my little boy is quite happy here. And I'm going to start by just pouring the water over him. Using my hand to work it into his coat. Does that feel good? Oh yes. Now when you come to the head, you turn around for the people. We need to be very careful again because this is frightening for some dogs. This is where they feel like they're going to drown. And we don't want to pour water into their ears, so be careful of their ears. And it's okay to get water in their eyes. You don't want to get soap in their eyes. We do want to get that face wet, though, especially if you've got a fuzzy face little boy like mine. <laughs> See, you, I don't like that. It's scary. Okay. Now I've got him good and wet. Now you take your shampoo. And I always use a dog shampoo because they are formulated to be pH balanced for dogs. Human shampoos can sometimes be very drying. I suppose you could use a, a human shampoo in a pinch <laughs> if you didn't have a dog shampoo, but I wouldn't use it regularly. I'm going to work that in, and I'm going to do his head and face last. He just shrinks down to nothing when he's all wet. Now my little boy has been suffering from some dry, flaky skin. It's winter that happens. He's been very itchy, so I picked a dog shampoo with a coal tar in it. And I'm going to let this kind of soak into him for a little while too to, to get the full benefit of it. And you want to get that bum clean. I know it's not pleasant. you got to get that clean. want that to have a nice little soak. Oh, he's cold. I have made sure that my house is warm. So that when he comes out of this bath, he'll be nice and warm. Now I'm going to do the face, you see. Being, being very careful not to get it in his eyes. I don't need a whole bunch of lather on the face. I just need that need it worked in to the important places where it, where his food might have gotten on him. Ooh, it's okay, honey. I'm very careful about those okay. eyes. And now it's time to rinse. <laughs> and the first thing I'm going to rinse is going to be his face. Again, being very careful that that shampoo doesn't go in his eyes. Very careful. And that's where it's nice to have something with a little spout on it. 
so that I can really control where the water is going now. And dogs have a, a natural instinct when they feel water on their faces they're going to put their nose up in the air as you see him doing. So if you go to pour this water just over his face, um, he's likely to get it up his nose. So we do have to be careful about that. This is a tough spot. It's all right. Well, got it in your mouth. Keep your mouth closed. There we go. And rinse, rinse, rinse. You can't rinse a dog too much. We don't want any of that shampoo residue left on our dog at all. I have a standard poodle, as you may have seen in my other video, and I do, I wash him in a similar fashion in this tub. It's just a much bigger job. <laughs> takes me a lot longer. And this method will work for any breed of dog. Um, perhaps a bit messier if you have a Newfoundland. I need to get this water underneath. Get these under parts too. Don't want any soap down there. If you have a short-haired dog, it's going to be much easier to get them dry, like a little um, miniature pincer or something like that. Just towel dry would be fine for them. For my poodles, they require hair drying in order to get that nice fluffy coat. And if you have a poodle, I'm planning to do some some more videos on home grooming your poodle. So stay tuned. I happen to be poodle crazy, but I love all dogs. I love all breeds of dogs. There you go. And now I just gently bring him out. Just gently, not too hard. He's such a tiny thing. There, he doesn't look too traumatized, does he? <laughs> Good. And then I have a towel waiting right here for him, and he loves this part. You would come up here? Come on up here. Good boy. And I put a towel around him. And he got done. Yeah, he looks like a drowned rat. So here he is, all fluffed and clean. I haven't clipped him yet. He's just been blow-dried and, and combed and brushed.